Hello, welcome back to Dead by Daylight, and for today I'm playing the new PTB, and this includes massive changes they did to the night, and I'm gonna go explain them right now. So the first one is that, oh, okay, hold on. okay, the first one is, is that you can manually switch between all three of your guards, I mean, that's as good as it sounds, it's amazing, you're gonna see why. Okay, you can no longer just set guards down, you have to make a at least 10 meter path with your patrol, which actually is not that bad if you're running Call of Arms, it's actually, yeah, it's actually not that bad, but that means that since this add-on, spoiler alert, was never incorpor incorporated into this killer base kit, why, so you kind of have to run this add-on now if you want to use this during chase, so that kind of blows, because then other than that, it gets really awkward. Okay, but if you end up actually using, like, all of your patrol path, guards will actually be chasing 50% longer on the survivor. So, for example, they did change some of the guards, so I'm gonna break it down real quick. So, the Carnifix and the Assassin all chase for 12 seconds now. Carnifix used to be 24 seconds, but they brought that to Jailer. So, the with if you use all of your patrol path, the Assassin, which is very big, is going to be chasing for 18 seconds, same with Carnifix, and the Jailer is going to be chasing for 36 seconds. And yeah, you could put this add-on on, and that will be 40 seconds that the Jailer is chasing someone. That is so much time wasted. But they can still collect the banner, which they, which they did change from Carnifix to Jailer 2. So Jailer, you have to, uh, survivors have to be chased for 10 seconds to collect the banner, and the Carnifix and the Assassin are both 5 seconds, so you can still kind of loop around a rock until the banner comes back. But as you can tell from the changes so far, it enforces sniping people. Because here's another change, which is a pretty big nerf, is that if you're ch chasing a survivor when they're being chased by a guard, it, the timer depletes three times as quickly, so that 36 seconds I said before is going to be decreased all the way down to... 12 seconds if you're chasing someone being chased by a jailer so you got to look out for that cardifix now breaks stuff quicker uh they basically made this add-on base kit into uh the carnifix so that's pretty decent but they did not make this add-on base kit i okay look i know what it says i've had it up to my dick and balls about people saying that they made this add-on base kit they did not what they did is that they increased the detection range of all of the guards by two meters and you're probably saying, oh, but that is what that is, 50%, right? You are wrong, because the whole reason why this add-on was good in the first place was not that it made the detection range bigger. It made it so that the guards never spawned at zero meters of a detection range. I don't know why that's still in the game and why they didn't change that. I was hoping they changed that for that exact reason into base kit, but they didn't. So when you spawn a guard, it still spawns at zero detection range. So if you snipe a survivor, the survivor can quickly just run away for a full second and the guard won't see them. And it's even worse if they have sprinters or if the generator is, there's a tree behind it, so they quickly run behind the tree. What this add-on did is that if you spawned a guard on top of the survivor, the guard would start at four meters of a detection range and then it would start expanding. This means that the guard will actually initiate change quicker indirectly so you were actually getting hits because of this add-on if you were getting quick hits because of this add-on that is why and other than that i'm just going to quickly show my build this is my best knight build as you can see it's very 4v1 and gen knowledge heavy and then it and since knight is 4v2 you can kind of expect how good it is and yeah enjoy the carnage all right we got azeroth's resting place i would say one of knight's best na uh best nap I actually do want to take a nap right now. It's one of Knight's best maps for pretty much what you can assume because of the gen defense. Man, it feels so nice to be like, oh, I failed a patrol. Now I could just send another guard and I never have to worry about it. So that, I do make that from here. That is the, yeah, that's this building right here. And we have Discordance because Discordance is a godsend on Knight. <laughs> Hello. Remember, we don't want to use Carnifix to break this, because that will actually end the chase. Which, I mean, I don't think it's like the worst thing in the world. Alright, where are you at, brother? You're not the one I saw. You were the one I saw. The other person actually got hit, by the way. Bruh, it won't let me put a guard down. She's right there. She's not going to expect me to be right here. Yeah. That is not going to be a hit. She already used her perk, by the way, so... She can't really fast vault around me i heard someone on this oh what are you guys doing you guys are like little worms nearby and we're gonna do this all the way like that she hold w oh i was hoping she would oh yeah i didn't mean to respect that there we go That should hit the other person. There we go. That's exactly what we want. 
You're gonna have to throw that. You should have thrown that down, man. The guard will go the other way. We have two people down right here. You don't mean the slug, but you guys are making this way too easy on me. The other person's on that. Hopefully it goes on that because there's a Neo over here, yeah. She can't flashlight save me from that angle because she's being chased. The guard went downer. You can pick her up if you want. I'm just gonna down one of you with the assassin. This is why night's really good, because you guys have to go somewhere else. You can't be on this part of the map. Maybe they'll catch someone on the drive-by. Yep, that's an assassin, so that could down, potentially. They are not wrapping around to the banner, so that could easily down. And we got oppression! So we have 4v1 pressure right now. And yeah, we know they're not on that. That's really good. Whoa, hold on a second. That's a down. And you're down. And then we send a jailer right down the middle. There, one of them's gonna go for the save. There's no way they're gonna heal. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Send a jailer out. Knight's insane. Like, cause how I play Knight, I play him heavily on the 4v1. Or 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 2v4. 2v4. You never want to use Knight's guards and chase. You only want to use it to break the pallet, because then you're missing out on, you know, literally everything else. I don't know where the other downed person is. I don't remember. See, she's trying to loot me into the pallet, which is smart. Wait, what are you doing? Never mind. I don't know. Your plan was to go to this? You have the vaulting perk, but it's not gonna help you. Nice, dude. Hold on a second. You guys see what I'm seeing, right? That's why surveillance is one of the best perks on him. Someone just got off of that. <laughs> I see you right here. I'm gonna send this guard out to hit the other person. Maybe, and I'm gonna use the speed to go after whoever's over here. What are you doing? Well, I guess I'm picking you up. <laughs> okay. Wait, someone was in there? Oh, you're the like. Not gonna work. Oh my god, where is the other downed bot at? I have no idea. I don't even remember who I downed. I'm not even playing. I'm not even, like, the funny thing is, I'm not even playing, like, sweaty. This is just how you want to play Knight, and it just works so well. You're down. More 2v4 coming up. So they can't heal right there, because we don't want them to. They're not healing, because I didn't immediately get someone. And I did that just in case they wanted the Sabo, too, and it's not going to work. Hello again. Running a little bit to the right. Looks like that miss. It's not gonna miss. Where's the other person at? Oh, there you are. Uh, wait, why did he stop patrol? Oh, it must have already been that long. Man, this is so fun to play. Send that all the way over there. There we go. We have an assassin too. Not looping around to the banner, so you're going to be chased for a while. We go back. Yeah, she's going to be occupied for a while. Jailer is so good now. Like, what the hell? I thought you saw me through the thing. Apparently not. Oh no, I'm stuck. Hopefully that hit the other person. Dang it, it hit the knee. That's okay. Where is the other person at? Oh no. She's gonna hold W. Oh, hello. Oh, it's the bot, finally. There we go. I'm probably gonna get flashlighted though. Nah, we're good. Another basically 30 second chase of wasting that person's time. The other person healed. Oh my god. It's so good. Like, it's very good. It wastes us so much of their time. You can't, you can't double back. You missed the banner. 
He tried to go for a hit. Go a figure eight pattern. She has a flashlight. She's gonna run into the guard. Oh, never mind. I put him that way. That's my bad. We cannot flashlight from that angle. Uh oh. Wait, the other person's down? Oh yeah, that's right. They got down across like the mat. Wait, what? How did she just? What the hell is happening? How did she just go down like that? I am so confused. Is there, n bro? Is there like a no borrowed time bug or something here? Just flashlight me. You guys are just gonna run into the guard anyway. <laughs> oh my god, it's so fun. Very mean, but it's really fun. I, I just have way too much efficiency. And the thing is, I've always been playing Knight like this, so I already know, like, here's the thing. I'm not really thinking too much. I've played this so much, I, I know this strategy like the back of my hand. I know 100% what I'm doing. Is she inside? She is inside. She is running that way. I thought she was going to run through it. That's what I would have done. And this is a, this is a trash loop. I think that's what the name of it is. There we go, you cut her off. Oh! oh not the auto aim! We want to be over here so she can't just hold W immediately. There we go. You're gonna run all the way over here. And you're dead. And just in case... I think I just heard someone with a flashlight come right close over here. Yeah, she's right here. Uh-oh, you better run. You better run. That guard looks like it's gonna hit her. <laughs> oh my god, that's insane. That's insane, dude. Insane. Man, dude, see, this is like kind of the changes I wanted for night, but this killer is gonna be such a pub stomper. Oh my god, the only person that did the gen was a bot because they're basically programmed to do it no matter no matter what. That is bonkers. We can sound hard the bot. They're at Killer Shack, okay. And now we know, so now we can send this over here. Oh, we heard them, they're over here they're over uh, here. So now we can send the Carnifix over there to catch him off guard. Right there, I hear him. Look at that, you can use it as like very good intel and you and you get the powers back pretty decently. Oh, what the hell just- oh, because they bled out! Oh my lord, I completely forgot that that person was literally 99. I am so sorry, guys. I didn't think Knight was going to be like that insane in the 4v- in the 4v1. But yeah, Knight is one of those really rare, like, efficient 4v2 killers. But the thing is that back then, or I guess before this PTV, I'm saying it as if it's five years old. But before this PTV, he was a 4v2, he was a 4v2 killer that had no good 4v2. And now, it's actually really decent. Including that they put, like, all of the attributes into Jailer, besides breaking the pallets quicker. So Jailer has a long patrol time, the biggest patrol range, and he chases for the longest. What more could you ask for that? Like, the only thing that's missing is this base kit, but I feel like this being base kit would be insane, including with the new add-ons you could be putting on this character now. Alright, here we go. This is actually a pretty good, uh, oh no, this is, uh, this is a spirits map, not Oni's, okay. I think I already saw someone in there. Ooh, uh. Oh, someone's running in there. I just heard that. Nice! They're kind of stuck in there, so you have to give me a hit. Oh my god, look how fast the assassin is, because uh, the chase initiated immediately. But that's that's how already that's already what knight used to be. Alright, hold on. I'm not gonna slug you, I'm just gonna get this person out of here. Just in case she was walking away. There we go. That was not the person I saw there, was it? I thought it was the Meg I saw there. It looked like they were wearing an outfit. Oh yeah, oppression got buffed. Like it's the duration is twice as uh, 
twice as uh, reduced, which is very good. See how long that jailer is chasing that person for? What are you doing? Okay. And we are going to send the assassin out. Dude, Call of Arms is so good. I'm so sad they didn't incorporate any of the add-on base kit because it still feels like it's going to be needed. Same thing with Map of Realm, which sucks. Map of Realm still feels very needed. What the hell? Oh, why did you do that? You should have waited until the guard was over so you wouldn't get hit. Where did she go? She went this way. She's right over to the left. So the guard will chase her, and then we'll just go to the right and cut her off. Nope, you're dead. Yeah, that's what I saw at the other area. It looks like these people don't really know how to play against Knight. I should have sent the Jailer over there. But this is how you want to play Knight. You want to 2v4 as much as possible, because as you can see, I'm getting quick hooks, and they are... There you go, this person knows how. But you're stuck at Killer Shack. Killer Shack is a really bad place to be stuck at. She's searching the chest for her uh, for her perk to activate. And oppression's already back! Holy hell, are you kidding me? That's so good. Where are you at? Oh, damn, I didn't even notice. Protect the banner! Really close. Really close. Then you go like this. Make that as hard as... Uh, make it very hard. Where are you at? Oh. Oh. Yeah, so that jailer is going to be there for a bit. Which I don't think we want. We don't want the jailer to be there. Oh. See, that is when you should have tapped the hook, because the guard wouldn't be chasing you anymore. I have an idea. We're going to expect maybe the assassin to down her. She's going far away. We don't want to chase her over there, so we'll have a guard do it. Hell yeah, and we have oppression back. She blew it up the she blew up the generator though. Look at that dude. <laughs> oh my god, this is so good. This is so good. And they're healing, so now they're not anymore. This is exactly how you play knight right here. 2v4. Who cares about the chase in 1v1? 2v4. If you use his guards for this is how I've always played knight. I would almost never use his guards in chase unless it was an uncounterable loop. Uh, she's looping around the window, which is good, because Jailer is not going to catch her. Going this way. Yep. And the other person... Yeah, I was about to say, the other person's probably went and picked the other person up here. Oh, no, they... Did they pick the other person up? I have no idea. I think they did, yeah. Oh, I just downed someone, yeah. Wow, this team is... Not doing the best. I don't remember where the other person got down. Okay, but here's my favorite thing about Knight. So you saw how the assassin is stuck in patrol? You could just send another guard out. Oh, we saw that. You could just send another guard out. Like that. You didn't see anyone, so we're gonna send another one out to make sure he does see him. Oh, they just ran away. To the right over there. And we have oppression too. So think about oppression. As you see, we played a very heavy 4v1, but oppression makes it where uh we have even more 4v1 on top of Knight. Wait, we see the scratch marks, actually. It's right there. She's running it wide, so we're gonna go this way to cut her off, because she has to run into the guard. Okay, and... You can't collect the banner, so she might... Yeah. Oh. But as you can see, you can't put the guard down immediately, so you have to go 10 meters, which isn't so bad, because, like I said, the loops where you want to use guards at is at Killer Shack, because... Like, good luck mind gaming Killer Shack as an M1 killer. I see you right there. <laughs> Alright, you know what? You guys had it really rough. I guess I'll give you the hatch. Because why not? Oh, I hear her. Oh, she outran that. Which is good, because that means we can do this. But as you can see, the guards lose them. Uh, they, they die immediately when you do that. That's insane. Got hit. Damn, dude. Look at the points. I am so sorry, guys, but I was kind of in the zone right there. We meet again? Do we? This is my first match. That is creepy. Oh, no, I was playing, uh... Singularity. That's right, I was playing Singularity. That's probably... Okay, that's why they recognize my name. Mother's Dwelling. Okay, this map isn't, like, the 
best for night, and that's because there's a lot of stuff to run around for the guards and to banners. But, let's see if I can make them skedaddle around. Well, that's already a good sign. So we're... Uh, oh, we don't, we don't make that. We don't make that. Cancel that immediately. Wait, you could just cancel and get your guard back? I did not know that. Okay, I don't know what that person across the map is doing, but it's making me not want to go after him. Put that around back. So they think I'm going over there. All right, well, I, I guess it would be too obvious. So that is the assassin. Might get a hit. Is he smart? Is he going to loop into the banner? What the hell? Why did someone DC already? Oh, is it because I'm playing knight on knight's PTB? Okay. Running around that way. Hello? Okay. She didn't stagger back. We can actually hit someone on top of there, by the way, believe it or not. We're gonna do that, actually. You wanna go really wide out like that, and it will see someone up there. Hopefully it didn't hit the person falling. Epic, that's like the best, because if that other person drops, then guess what? It's gonna hit them immediately. This is so good. What are you doing? There we go, that mind game worked. And we're gonna send a jailer all the way to where the Carnifix is chasing. Ooh, there's someone. They're already over there. Okay. That gen probably has a lot of progress then. Uh, the best play... I'm not gonna do it because it's a P2B, but the best play would be to slug her and immediately go to that generator. Because her being slugged over there is better than being put on a hook. Because the thing about Knight is that you want to snowball in 4v2. Who cares about hooks? The game is balanced around killing. Remember that. It's not balanced around hooks. You want to kill people. And this would make it the easiest to do so. Nice. See? I would have been able to protect that. We we'll use this for the oppression. And someone's running right towards me. And they're probably injured. Yep. Oh, I think it's too late. A little bit of staggering. Oh, you don't want to run outside like that. Oh, God. Nice to see that that night bug is still in the game. We do this so the guard immediately initiates chase. Where is she? You're right in there. You have power struggle? That'd be a good counter for my strategy if you have power struggle. Nope. He's gonna try to loop into the banner, but... Yeah, there we go. This guy's really good so far. That was perfect timing. We want to kind of zone him out a little bit. We don't want him to see us putting a guard down, because then he's gonna hold W. Hmm. Oh, person's done from cooldown. Hell yeah. Oh, I have an idea. We're gonna send this over here. They're gonna try to heal. Then we immediately go after whoever's over here. We're gonna pretend we have no idea that she's there. There we go. I saw her arm sticking out. I gotta be careful. That could be auto aim. That can screw me on that. <laughs> oh my god. Like, nearly every single match has been like that. <laughs> oh man. Why are you playing the PTB if you can't handle it? Uh, they're healing? I heard Cage. <laughs> oh man. Oh, uh, why is that so funny? <laughs> oh shit.